Hey yo folks, what's going on? Welcome back to the Fishing with Norm YouTube channel. Guys, comment this pop up down below. So go ahead, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell, leave a comment down below on this video for your chance to be next video's comment of the day. Guys, we're on the road 500,000 subscribers. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. But guys, today we are here. I don't know if you can see it, but uh, Goodwill is back there. You guys have loved the previous two Goodwill videos I have done. I actually know an employee that works at Goodwill. He gave me a call and said they have something crazy in. This only happens like once a year where somebody brings something cool fishing related into Goodwill. And today is the day for that. We are here at Goodwill and I'm going to show you guys who we're filming with in today's video. All right, guys. So we have um, Fishing with Yak Pack. What's up, boys? Bassin with Devin. Follow me, comment. Subscribe. Hey, what's up, boys? <laughs> what's I don't know if you guys have seen my uh, my videos at Goodwill, but basically, for those of you guys here, you guys all know what Goodwill is? No. No? Yeah. Okay, well, let me explain it. Goodwill, basically, it's like a thrift store, only people donate things. It's a nonprofit organization, so Goodwill actually doesn't make any money. So basically, you can get a ton of things for like really cheap at Goodwill. People donate, and then uh, you can buy, and everything that you buy goes to charity. For the first time I was here, we actually found like 30 antique fishing reels. Like somebody just donated their whole fishing reel collection. Oh, I met a subscriber at Goodwill while we were filming that video. I got his number, and I told him to text me whenever something cool came in, and he texted me and said that they have some uh, some cool stuff in the store. So if he would go through the trouble to text you i would assume five packs of lures and maybe some sort of fishing reel i don't know though i don't want to hype it up but i would love if we had just a juicy shimano in the mix i'm down a handful of reels every time lojo gets mad they just they're gone <laughs> <laughs> i definitely think there's gonna be a combo of some sort i don't know what especially the goodwill in the area that we're at the last time the Yak Pack and I were at this Goodwill. We actually found uh, kitty poles and cane poles. So I'm hoping not for that today. Yeah. But there's some potential here. If he called me, I think something good is going to be inside. So let's go ahead, go inside Goodwill, check it out, see if we can find some good steals. Got check it. your local Goodwills for fishing deals. It literally, if you can find something, it's the best fishing deals anywhere. Out of any store, Goodwill will be the place to go. But let's go ahead, go inside and see what they got. Oh my gosh. Did somebody mount a three inch bluegill? <laughs> somebody mounted their PB and it was weak, man. If you took those lures out, are those things right there and you turned them into swim baits. Dude, there's actually treble hooks oh, on yeah, those. There's like actual fishing oh, lures in there. There is lures in there, wow. We might have to break it open and look. There's even a rod and reel that maybe we can use. Holy smokes. <laughs> is that Bill Dance on the picture? I don't know. Could be a tradable. So guys, check this out. AO just found, it's like a, like a cool like collector's item maybe. I don't know, for $15, I hope it's a collectible. <laughs> but we have, uh, there's actually like four antique fishing lures in here that I don't know if you're supposed to use or if you even could use or if they're just for show. They have hooks. Yeah, they're real. There's 100% a yeah. fishing lure. That's like, okay. If we can't find anything else, I don't know if this is what the dude was talking about or not, but maybe we could break this open. I mean, there's screws on the back. We could take some of the lures out and fish. Well, those are like antique lures too. That's pretty sweet. I'm wondering what the story is behind this because this, like we do these in the, this man. Good. <laughs> I like it. What you guys think? That is a cop. You have to, it matches the pants. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even know he was in there. All right, guys, so we're here inside of Goodwill, and uh, it's just crazy, man, how much stuff is in here, and all this stuff has been donated. So we got the boys, we kind of split up into like four different teams here, searching for anything fishing related. The guy who texted me and said that there's fishing stuff here is not working right now. So hopefully we'll be able to find whatever he was talking about. The fake Publix employee? <laughs> <laughs> like come up to ask you like where did I find this a couple weeks ago it was in aisle three but they you wouldn't believe what the manager had me do he had me move it it was over on 17 though top shelf third row can't miss it just send them on a circle of the whole store if it's on 17 try two <laughs> when lures come flying out of the water they fit perfect <laughs> look just try look go turn around look Jeez, my man's got lice twice. <laughs> Back in the day, baby, championship ready. You know the drill. <laughs> Attach a fishing line to it. Ooh, oh. <laughs> you actually saw it. You went so hard, I wish the camera. I can't anymore. Yak Pack is just going to go wait in the car. <laughs> I just I got them hips on me, you know what I'm saying? Those are uh, the new Oakleys. Yeah, yeah. I think. How am I looking? Can you tell me I can't see myself? <laughs> it is. Wow. Is it a fit? Is it a fit? Yeah. It, it, it fits you. Perfect. Yeah. I can tell these are high quality. Oh my, dude. What do you got? Look. Sweet and low? I see something right oh. here, and that looks like a treble hook. That is the mother load, dude. Oh my goodness, dude. Holy cow. So guys, Ao and I just stumbled upon a sweet and low pack of lures right here. Like, I don't know why somebody threw lures in this. You see what we just found? Uh, sweet and low for my coffee? Oh, oh shut yeah. up, dude. 
<laughs> what? <laughs> Look at this, dude. Dude, you what? Me? Dude, the these heck? are like antique fishing lures, like for real. Yeah. Guys, on that lake I fish, where my lake house is at, uh, like 20 lake houses down from me, there's two tackle company owners on that lake, and this would make a whole lot of sense, because these are made in Florida. Capitalized, emphasized, and quotations. Do not be impatient while fishing. <laughs> if only I'd have known. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. The Diamond Rattler is the best and only surface lure I used in winning the Bass Anglers Sportsman Society's tournament on Lake Seminole, Georgia. If you guys know anything about Lake Seminole, there's actually... We're only 30 minutes huge, away from Lake Seminole. Yeah, no, it is huge fish. Drop a comment, subscribe if you want to see us go fish a tournament on Lake Seminole. There's like tons of antique lures here that we just found and thank goodness uh, shout out to uh, Evan the guy who uh, works at Goodwill and texted me and told me that there's stuff here I'm pretty sure this is what he had to be talking about We have like unlimited antique fishing lures right here And I don't know how much they are but normally at Goodwill this things like this really we bought a Corrado for five bucks I don't know how much these antique lures go for but we might get a really good deal on these and look at that paint job It looks like they literally hydro dipped it no, it's not. It's not a Guga. I wish it was. I don't even think John B. and them were born when this came out, bro. <laughs> These could be 80-year-old fishing lures that have never even come out of the package yet. They're still sealed. That that like Pokemon cards. <laughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 lures right here. And I think they're all, at, I mean, at least 50 years old. Have you guys been on the board with me with that, they probably? Be 60s or 70s, either one. Damn. It's not even a colored picture either, so you know what I mean? Holy cow. Awesome. I've never had a find like this before where I found them like inside of the package. I found like an old tackle box once, but nothing was like in this good of condition, which I'm pumped about. I've never even used a prop beat before, like I as mean, a top water lure. Yeah. You, you guys agree we should get all oh, of them? Yeah, 100%. Yeah. We're, yeah. Yeah. we're taking them. We might even run a giveaway. Stay tuned for that. We might give Ooh. one of these away to you guys. For real, comment down below how old these things are, if you guys have ever fished with them before, and then also like how much do they cost? We might have to look it up when we get outside, but we'll keep on looking a little bit more and then we'll go check out. All right, guys, we're leaving Goodwill right now. We have some pretty epic finds. I wish we would find like a rod or reel or something like that, but beggars cannot be choosers i am pumped with these antique lures guys we're gonna open a few of them we're gonna give a few of them away for you guys all right guys here we go first cast with the uh the top water lure from 50 years ago it's his first time hitting the water and we're gonna try to catch a big old fish on it oh man and a big old bird's nest guys it's been a little bit since i've been top water fishing too it gets so hot in the summer here that in the ponds the top water fishing is not really all too good the really the fishing in general in ponds in the summer is not good where I'm at, but this one's spring fed, so it keeps it a little bit cooler. I'm hoping that'll help the top water bite out today and the overcast and the rain should help it too. We really got perfect conditions here. Guys, I'm gonna try a ton of different retrieves, like popping it a few times and reeling it steady. Let's try to see what works. Oh yeah, dump on me. So deep in there. Oh, dude, a freaking like three pounders came and tried to eat it and missed it. Did you see that? No, I saw it. Oh my, oh. I can't believe that, man. I was not expecting to get hit. He just, he was right behind it and he missed it. I twitched right when he went to go grab it and he just missed it. Yo, this might just still be coming. I can't tell which way the wind's going. This might just be nonstop rain. We ran up to Devin. It's dumping out right out here. I'm sorry, everybody. But, um. His back hook just came clean off. Yeah, that's how he got off. He jumped and I thought he the spit hook the broke? hook, but the whole hook's gone, so. What the heck? Jeez. Man. I mean, it's. I saw him jump out of the water. I was like, holy cow. <laughs> Dude, I can't believe he he lost that fish. I know, Get up the spot. Oh, 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 oh my gosh. Come on, dudes. Get him in hook, man. Dude, he ate it right next to this. He just, he just came up and played with it, you know? Dang it, man. That's my second, like, blow up. I'm actually kind of mad at myself. Dude, I cannot believe I've been blown up on twice and missed both of, or both of them missed me. I never even got the chance to hook set any of them. Dude, what are the, the biggest tease of all time, man. We've all been just like smoked and just not even a fish in the video yet. Oh, got him, got him. Oh, he pulled off. Oh my gosh. No. Yeah, dude, I literally probably just had like a four or five pounder on. I'm not even kidding you. That is so many that just like missed. We do we've we've missed like 15 pounds of fish here. Yeah, I missed three. That was my third miss as well. Did my lure just split in half? Bruh. <laughs> I literally casted my lure and it snapped in half. Well, that's not good, guys. I guess that means um we're done here. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, got him. Yes. Yes. That was an awesome blow up, dude, on the antique lures from Goodwill. Holy cow. <laughs> oh, geez. Stop that. Stop that. Stop that. I don't need 50 year old rusty hooks in my fingers. Oh, my gosh, guys. He slammed it. Guys, these hooks did a good job hooking them, too. I mean, we had a solid hook set here. Jeez. Check that out. Beautiful one-pound bass. I'm going to go ahead and, uh, and let him go. On the antique fishing lure, guys. I can't believe we found these in Goodwill still. Guys, it is so cool to think that this lure has literally been in the package for 40, 50 years. And that was the first fish it ever caught. And we got to capture it on camera and just randomly sitting in goodwill it's crazy to think too guys lures that old you can still get for like eight bucks on ebay i thought they were going to be so much more expensive i mean some are selling for a little bit more than that but on average like five to eight bucks for this lure is uh it's pretty crazy to think i've been working it like a popper too i really like how this lure works you can you know reel it and it's like a buzz bait almost or you can pop it and that's what i've been doing to catch this fish i've been getting that or that the one bite that i have had was on the uh was on the pause when I was popping it. Come on, let me draw one cast here before I walk and spoil this. Pop, pop. Oh! oh! Oh, dude, that was a big one. Oh my gosh, did you guys see that? Literally a three, four pounders came out of the water for it, dude. I'm gonna see if I can get him to bite again. Oh my goodness. He grabbed it too, I think, for a second. I'm using a left-handed reel, so I couldn't set the reel, or I couldn't set the hook soon enough. Dang it. I don't know, the hydrilla probably goes out like seven, eight yards from the bank, and then just drops off. And these bass out here, even though it's like a small pond, there's not too much thinking that goes behind it, but they'll push the bait up on that hydrilla. So I like working that little edge with, uh, with top water lures. I used to use, you know, like the blooper and stuff out here. We even did like a Walmart challenge where we used all the Walmart lures and we're catching them on like the Walmart buzz bait and stuff out here doing the same thing. Jeez, dude, I honestly kind of like these lures, man. I can't believe I've never heard of them before. Yeah, this is ridiculous, dude. It's not like top water. Oh, I just got slurped, dude. Oh my gosh. Oh, dude, it's a left-handed reel, man. Your, your drag is so loose. Oh, he's not even big, dude. He's just got me wrapped in grass. Oh, my gosh. Oh, let's go. <laughs> I mean, well, actually, let's clean him off here real quick. You know, what, you, know what, you know what he looks like? A hydrilla gorilla. He does look like a hydrilla gorilla. Just dude, I'm honestly, I'm kind of digging this lure, man. It's, it's, it's working out here, guys. We have perfect conditions, too. Like, it's, it's perfectly overcast and just, like, windy enough. All right, guys. <laughs> Check that dude out. Little, like, probably three-quarter pounder on the top water. See you, buddy. Dude, this left-handed baitcaster reel has almost done me dirty twice, man. I don't know how you use it. Like, for him, it made sense because he got, like, a $17,000 platinum, like, a 2012. Oh, my gosh, what? dude. Dude, I, dude, I wasn't water. even, like, paying attention. Guys, we're talking to Yak Back about trucks. <laughs> Bro, I just got splooshed on. I wasn't even moving my top water. Am I recording? Yes. Dude, I hope they caught that. That fish jumped out of the water for that lure. Bro, <laughs> I can't believe I caught him, too, dude. <laughs> Guys, we literally have been here for, I would say, probably 20 minutes, and we were at the point where the sun was going down. We're like, all right, you know what? We're just not going to catch anything. And um, oh, we're talking about trucks. <laughs> we're talking about yak, to yak back about, you know, truck deals and, you know, all that stuff. We're talking about new trucks because you guys know they smashed my window in and stuff like that, and my truck's just, you know, dying. <laughs> but um <laughs> and yak pack brought, brought two brand new ones i'm kind of high key jealous guys boom all right well before this little half founder rudely interrupted us on the goodwill lure <laughs> we were Bro, sitting he <laughs> crushed that thing dude he i just out his whole body i saw him jump and i was like <laughs> i was like please tell me that was on my lure because you know like a lot of times like a fish has jumped out yeah, there right like here, they'll yeah, just yeah. randomly jump yeah and i was like that's right where my lure was at like, like you know we caught some good fish on this i'm just so sad about that four pounder that blew up on this man yeah. and i missed them so I was in my fields, the sun was going down. I was like, guys, we might just have to film this video another day. And then we're talking about trucks. Just leave my lure sitting there for, honestly, it was probably sitting there for three minutes. I don't even know how we're gonna put that in the video, guys, because we were just, <laughs> uh, we were going on about trucks for like three minutes. Jesus. <laughs>